Hey, Nick here again from Murky Customs. All right, so here's the point where uh, we do the Ron Papil before and after smash cuts of everything through the phases. So basically, uh, what you got here is all the lumber that was cut uh, down at Lowe's, some grates, and some uh, electrical wire for the power cord. And if we pan over here, uh, the leather just came in. So with any luck, oh, let's do that the other way. With any luck, when I pan back, it'll be done. Dun dun dun. And here we go. There's about a cow, about a half a hide left. Well, three quarters of a hide left. Here you go. It may not look like a whole lot, but it's a little over 65 hours to stitch all, to stitch all that. All right, on to assembly. All right, here we are at the end of phase two. You'll notice that uh, everything seems to be working. We have the Xeon 60 or 1620 V3, uh, 16 gigs of ECC memory, and the M2 uh, PCIe uh, Plex Store drive. Um, everything's showing up correctly, uh, which is nice. Uh, you'll notice that the sleep cable I did not screw up, uh, which which is handy. Uh, okay, so here we are. You'll notice none of the drives are actually on. And ignore the white cables. Those are all just USB 3 cables um, that will all eventually be plugged into the system. Um, notice none of the PCIe cards are in just yet. Um, but everything is on. Everything is working. You'll notice the... Uh, uh, we did decide to, or I did decide, uh, against using the grate and the fire glass. I just really liked the open look a little bit better. Um, so I just reconfigured a couple of things, but, uh, for the most part, uh, I think this turned out really nice. Uh, so in the next video, uh, all of this stuff will be on and working. These cables will be re-sleeved and where they're supposed to be. Uh, everything will just be kind of cleaned up and um, it should be humming along. So, um, see you in the next video.